Oh, this is very nice, of course. Uh, you know, we look forward to this game every year. And we have, we've had three of them this year and we won all three, so very pleasing. Um, Performance-wise, I thought it was good. And most important was the uh, three points and, and a clean sheet, I think, as well. So it builds confidence. Uh, the second goal when it went in, I think, obviously, was a telling time in the game that, that you know, we're pretty comfortable then. Does it feel like you took things up a little bit tonight in terms of where you've been in the last three weeks or so? Yeah, we're slowly building again. It's coming to the right end of the season. These players are looking forward to it. Uh, three more games now and then, you know, finals time. So it's, it's, it's the right time to do it. Probably won't count as an assist, but uh, it looks like there are signs of a combination between Alfie yeah. and the bow are starting to come to fruition. How excited are you about that? Yeah, I was excited. Um, they weren't supposed to play together tonight because uh, Trent Bahaja was supposed to start. He hurt his groin uh, in the warm-up doing a bit of shooting. So that was going to be next week when they were going to play together against the Wanderers. So, but um, yeah, I thought it was good. I thought they both combined well together for the first time that, that they played together. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to what's to come for both of them. Did that change your formation? Did you shift things around after Trent was ruled out? No, we, we kept the same formation because Costa was supposed to play where he did. Um, you know, with Trent, he gives you a lot of forward runs. Um, we just adjusted, obviously, Bobo going more central and Adam more on the left-hand side, um, where if Trent played, he probably would have been, Trent would have been on the left and, and Adam through the middle. So, but it was just a slight adjustment, nothing major. How is his going? Uh, I don't know. He's getting scans tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously not great for this time of year. He's been out as well for most of, most of the season. Uh, and then to come back, I thought he did really well last week against Western. Uh, he looked really good and that's why he got another start. Well, he was supposed to start again tonight, giving him an up, another opportunity and um, obviously didn't come, didn't turn out that way. A couple of big saves late from Andrew Redmayne. What do you make of his form at the moment considering his slow start to the season? Excellent, um, yeah. You know, he had a couple of moments um, early on in the season, everyone picked up on, but uh, he's, he's back to his best and uh, performing really well. And, and again tonight, two clean sheets in a row. He's the leading clean sheets for Sydney FC now, 38 clean sheets. He just took over from Clint Bolton last week. So um, a very good goalkeeper and he's at his top, top of the game at the moment. Did you say anything to him? Did you have any chats with him when he was going through a bit of a rough patch to get him yeah. back to his best? Yeah, we, ch we chatted a fair bit. Um, but even when he was going through that bad period, when he made a couple of mistakes, he, he never shouldered any responsibility. He was very brave coming out for crosses and after he made a mistake, he just got on with the game and I thought that was excellent and that's what you want from your keeper. You know, um, They make one mistake, everyone sees it, so, but he, I think he's, he's done really well. Just on that Bobo goal, um, obviously he, he's made a career out of scoring those, sort of, those goals from close range. Coming into the final series, is it calming for the squad just having a player like that who can just sort of be in the right place at the right time for the yeah. moment? Yeah, I think ever since Bobo's come into the to the side, I think that's taken a bit of pressure off Costa. Um, and obviously, you know, Bobo's scoring as well. And I think with Adam coming in as well now, I think that's a different picture as well. I think it gives us, obviously, great strike force up top now with the three of them. Um, you know, we expect goals from all three. Um, so, yeah, if, if one has a bad day, you, you hope the other two are having a good day. So, I think, um, you know, you saw the the bench tonight was very strong as well. So the depth in the squad is is very good leading into the into the finals. Um, so we're very happy where we are at the moment. It's a big game against the Wanderers uh, yeah. on Sunday. It's been a bit of a, bit of a challenge, I guess, with the results mm. um, against them this year. Are you guys, is it a mental sort of block or mm. it's just been bad luck? Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say bad luck. I, I would say the performances have been really good. Uh, I think we've dominated both the, both the games that we played this year with no result. Um, you know, we got a draw in the first game and, you know, we got caught a couple of times from our, our mistakes in, obviously, at their ground. Um, and we come back, we did, did really well. Obviously, with Bobo missing the penalty didn't help us either, but um, I thought the performance was really good in that game. So it's about performing well, but again, getting three points. That's the main thing at the end of the day. I'd, you know, prefer to get three points against them and play badly, but, um, you know, it's important that we win against them. 
He felt worried uh, about losing players for the finals. We looked Bratton's in, in great touch. He could catch Graham Arnold's eye. Ryan McGowan potentially Redmayne back to his best. I mean, how big of a concern is it for you right now? Yeah, it's, it's a big concern really because uh, we're going to have, uh, you know, depends how many go, um, our best players out of the finals. So that's not great, of course, but um, that's why we just have to make sure everyone's ready, um, get minutes into people's legs. Benny Wallen as well played, I thought, excellent tonight. And, um, you know, Harry come on for, for Ryan Grant just in case he goes away. Braddon, like you said, he's playing excellent. He, you never know, he might get a call up as well, which we have Caceres then to fill in for him if he if he does go. Um, obviously, the goalkeeper is a big big part of that. If Redders does go as well, we have Tommy Hewitt-Bell, which is just coming back from a little injury, so he hasn't played much, so he'll, we'll try and get him some game time in the NPL, or Pavlicic as well, which has been on the bench for the last couple of weeks while he's been out. So, um, obviously, with them players, if they do go, gives other players opportunity and you know that's what it's about give players opportunity that's how you get your start Joel King got his start because of Michael Zullo being injured and he hasn't looked back so do you play a guy like Ben Wallen in case Michael McGowan goes is that what you're starting to do well I'm starting to think about who's who's going and who's possible to go so hopefully they name the squad soon so I, I know for sure but uh, yeah and also with Benny it was a bit you know, we had the midweek game. We got Wanderers on the weekend. Uh, Gals had a bit of a bit of a sore knee as well. So, you know, I thought it was probably a good time to play Benny. Um, and again, I thought he was really good tonight. On the squad, has Arnie said anything to you at all personally, or it's just kind of like the case of trying his distance? Yeah, you know, of course, the, he he knows who he wants. Uh, but obviously, you know, there's a lot of overseas boys as well. That you've got to make sure that they're available to to travel. Um, so, yeah, I've spoken to him about it, he's, he's, he's said a few names, but, um, you know, until the final squad's done, well then, we'll wait and see.